Hey, come on in. And let me show you why this car is getting me so hyped. <laughs> hey guys, it's Kelly and I am so excited sorry i'm yelling to bring you a 2022 kia carnival tour this is kia's brand new minivan it's replacing the sedona and honestly it's blowing me out of the water i cannot wait to show you guys exterior because are you like is it a good looking van or is it an average looking SUV that's the million dollar question comment below what you think exterior wise for a minivan I'm here for it I'm so excited about it let's start with the front end grille super futuristic we also have the new Kia logo just, just debuting on the carnival this is their brand new logo and they're like you know what let's do it on the minivan let's break it out with the minivan only thing I hate about this car so far is the name carnival hate it it's like us moms already know we're in a circus and now I have to drive a car called a carnival. Okay. All right, moving along to her side profile. This is where the action happens. If you guys notice, they've raised the hood line. They kind of did something similar in the new Sienna as well, just to kind of give you less minivan vibes, more SUV vibes. It's kind of giving me like, maybe like a little bit thicker of a Ford Flex. Is it my favorite looking car on the road? No. Is it my favorite looking minivan on the road? I think so. Only other thing I cannot stand, cannot stand it, is this. Hearse vibes. This looks like a hearse. It's not as bad in the white. I saw a black one. It looked like a hearse. What? I don't like that. I would like that off. But everything else I'm liking back here. Okay, so back end, pretty good looking. I do like that they put the windshield wiper underneath there just to kind of clean up the back end. This light bar all the way across, or tail light bar, not my favorite. I do think it's interesting that the Kia logo is literally on the lights. That's kind of fun. And then Carnival, in cursive. Hate, freaking hate the name. Hate the name. Comment below what we should rename it, and we'll see if Kia listens. All right, so I just wanted everyone to know that I am doing the EX, which is one of the mid-term levels. It is not the completely tricked out one with the dentist chairs in the back seat, but in reality, we're not using that for our kids in our car seats anyway. So I'm excited to bring kind of more of like a mid trim level. Like I said, this is the EX. It has an MSRP of $39,000. So I'm going to be showing you what this car has to offer. Here's a shot of me in the driver's seat of this 2022 Kia Carnival. And let's just talk about my driver's comfort features for a second. So first of all, start with my visibility. It's really good in this car. I mean, the windows, especially in that second row, are so big. I've got a big back windshield. My visibility is great. This car, we're doing the EX trim level today, comes with a ton of great standard safety features. We've got the frontal collision avoidance. We've got the blind spot. We've got the automated cruise control. Tons of great safety features loaded in this car. As far as some of my amenities are concerned, so much to break down right here. I'm very excited about it. We've got a great little cubby space here with a wireless charger, three USBs, which is amazing, two cup holders, another change collector, two more cup holders. Look at this. I love when there's four cup holders in reach before I even get to my side cubbies. That is just what I'm talking about. Our center console is a pretty decent size. It's a little bit smaller than I was expecting for a minivan. I also hate that they made this white. Everything else is black except for like the door panels and then this is white leather and this just seems like it'll be the first thing to get dirty in my car. So I don't really like that they did that. Um, as far as some of my like mom amenities, amenities are concerned, this display in here is loaded with mom friendly features. To start, we've got the quiet mode, which will turn down the volume in the back two rows so that like if you're listening to a podcast or music, the kids fall asleep, it'll turn it down automatically. We also have our rear climate controls. Again, very easy to find to adjust for your children. You can lock them from here. I like how easy that is to find. We've got the passenger talk. So what the passenger talk does is it picks up my voice and then plays it through the rear speaker. So that, that way you're not having to turn around, take your eyes off the road to tell your kids something. They can hear you right there. And then maybe my favorite feature of all is this passenger view. Simply click the passenger view button and it will pop up a camera so you can see your children. That is so exciting to me. Look, I could see little Harriet sleeping. So excited about that. Can't talk enough about that. And then quickly you could access your passenger talk. 
So I could be like, George, where do you want to go to lunch? I'm so excited. All right, this feature is awesome. So there's a little star right here on the steering wheel, right? This star is a customizable button. So I could choose to have whatever I want. Um, I could have quiet mode, a voice memo, passenger talk, and a phone call. I'm going to do the passenger view, though. And then that way, when I hit it, it would just pull up my camera for me. Nice. Just so relaxed here. I'm loving it. Like, amazing mirror. It's huge. Love that. Um, and just the interior elements are really pretty, actually. You know, I like this, like, piano black high gloss. I think that looks really nice. Even, like, the chrome elements here, like my heated seat being in this chrome, I think is a nice touch. The display is beautiful, like, the way that it just goes right into the dash. I mean, I really don't feel like I'm in a minivan right here. I'm not sure I'm ever going to feel like I'm in, I'm in a minivan in this car. I'm having a lot of fun. One thing I wish, though, look at this. It's like, where's my purse holder? You know what I mean? It's like, it looks like it should be there. I don't know what's there. It sounds hollow to me. I'm like, you couldn't give me like my purse holder. I need my purse holder. Now we are going to talk about the second row, the third row, and all things car seats. Hey, come on in. And let me show you why this car is getting me so hyped. First of all, here I am in the second row, living large, like I do in the backseat of a minivan. A couple of things about my amenities. First of all, ceiling vents. We love to see it. Climate control up here. I like when the climate control's up here because then like little feet aren't kicking at it and changing it. So I like to see that. Um, the cup holder situation is very exciting to me. So we've talked, you know there's two cup holders back here. I as the driver would probably utilize those more. But then we were like, oh, what's this little like skinny thing? It's a phone holder. It's a flipping phone, phone holder. Obsessed. If I put this uh, middle seat down, it would also give me like two more cup holders and then there's like a little flat area, which I really like. And then in my door, I also have a cup holder. Love, love, love that I have power doors right here so I can close the door myself. And then it also has built-in sunshades. So what's not to love? I want to talk a little bit about the third row access because I'm pretty excited about it. So like I told you earlier, you can take these seats out if you want to, and you can take that middle seat out super easily to make captain's chairs. Since the seat belts are attached to the seat, that makes it really easy to slide these seats forward for third row access with car seats. Because whether your forward facing car seat or maybe your infant seat base is installed with the latch or the seat belt, you can move that seat completely and we've talked, kids can slither back there. I'll, I can slither back there. Look, I'm slithering back there with a car seat right there. It's like, it is an exciting thing. I'm exciting things are happening. This is exciting. I guess while you're back here, we'll talk about my third row amenities um, because they seem to be also pretty good. First of all, all of the headrests are removable. That's important to note. So we love to see that. I have ceiling vents in the third row as well. And then I've got USBs on either side, cup holders, collectors for snacks or whatever else I might have. And then there is in fact three seats back here. You know, the middle seat in the third row is always just like kind of an afterthought to me. Um, it would be very tight. It would be tight. Not gonna call it impossible, but it would be tight. So just back in the third row of the carnival for a second, I just wanted to talk about this Graco extended fit I fit rear facing. I'm a lot happier with the car seat situation in the third row than I have been in some of the SUVs I've done. So this is installed rear facing. This seat is pushed back where I could still fit a rear facing car seat there. And I'm still dealing with some good clearance. So um, obviously this is just to give you an idea of the space, but I'm happy to see it. I'm also happy to see this. That is the cutest, the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. The littlest, tiniest little baby sunshade. Look at the difference that makes. Ugh. Ugh. So let's chat a little about the car seat setup because surprise, it's amazing. But we are in a minivan, so I was kind of expecting that. Quick little breakdown of it all. In this bench seat right here, every seat has its own set of lower anchors and tether anchors. In the third row, we have lower anchors on either outbound seat and then three tether anchors across the bench as well. So there's a lot of great flexibility for different car seat setups. I brought a couple of car seats here just to give you an idea of the space 
Obviously, you're going to want to make sure you read your specific car seat manual and consult a CPST if you have any questions. But to give you an idea of spacing, I installed a Kleck Foomph here rear facing, an Upper Baby Mesa infant seat here, and as you can see, I can still buckle safely in the middle seat. I've got great clearance on either side of these, as I was expecting. And then in the third row, I installed a Graco Extended Fit rear facing with still enough room. So obviously, if a bunch of rear facing seats fit here, you should not have any major issues with any forward facing seats. I really like the car seat setup. I like how wide this bench is. These seats can all get removed. This middle seat's very easy to remove. And then you could also remove either of these seats as well, just to kind of give you some more flexible seating positions. So I'm not gonna say I'm surprised because it's a minivan, but after doing some of the other SUVs I've done, it's so relaxing to sit in here and be like, wow, this is made to haul children. So. Good stuff. So here is the trunk. Minivan trunks get me so hyped because they are so deep. It makes them so much bigger. I have an Upper Baby Vista stroller in here and obviously like it fits great. We could groceries. There's some side compartments to talk about. Um, now I'm gonna take the stroller out and I'm gonna show you how we put these seats down there for even more trunk space. So they're pretty easy to stow. You just lift this up. That's all you have to do. How easy was that? To lift it up. I mean, I'm doing it one handed. All right, so that is going to wrap up my 2022 Kia Carnival tour. I knew I was going to like it, but I really like it. And I think it is a great minivan. It definitely had some improvements from the Sedona. I think it's going to give those other minivans a run for our money. If it came in all wheel drive, I would be super excited. So it's only front wheel drive, but for the space, for the technology, for the safety features, for the car seat setup, for the aesthetics, for $39,000, I really like it. All right, let's build my very own 2022 Kia Carnival. So to start with the different trim levels, um, I kind of went through all of the different ones. I do think that it's worth it to go up to the EX for the standard, for the safety features that you get with it and also some of those comfort features. Like you don't even get a power tailgate till the EX and I just really need that in my life. So that's why I'm gonna go up to the EX. The SX is nice, it gives you more features, but I don't know, just if I'm thinking bang for your buck, I think you still get a lot of nice standard safety features and comfort features with just the EX and then you're gonna have it under 40,000. So I'm just gonna keep the EX trim level and then some color, some couple fun color options. Um, I think this blue, you guys know I love blue. It's a very Carmon blue, so I'm kind of into that one. I am not into this blue. I do not like the red. I mean, are you joking to the ceramic silver? That's probably what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm gonna do, right? That's what we need. I'm just gonna keep with black interior, keeping it simple. So yeah, I mean that not to keep it simple, but like that's all I'm gonna do. And that would bring me to an estimated price of 39.2 after destination. So that's what I'm gonna do. Loved this car. Can't wait to hear what you guys think.